everyone welcome to the session of in-depth economics today we are going to do something very interesting we are going to learn about the meaning and characteristics of statistics as well as stages of statistical study using some acronyms why because this acronyms will summarize everything that we are going to learn in today's tutorial and it will make it very easy to remember all the points so this entire definition will be reduced to one acronym stats and this entire definition will be reduced to two words new specs let us use these three terms to make a sentence so that you can remember them effortlessly please listen to the following sentence carefully i'm wearing my new specs to study stats statistics is defined in both singular and plural sense we will use the acronym STATS to learn about the meaning of statistics in singular sense. S in STATS stands for Systematic Study of Numerical Data. Numerical data is that information which is measurable. It is always collected in number form. For example, number of students in your class, population of a country, etc. T stands for Techniques to Collect, Organize and Present Data. This statistical techniques we will study in detail in the upcoming tutorials. A stands for analysis of data. T in stats stands for tools for interpretation of data. After data is presented in a systematic manner, next step is to analyze or examine the data and interpret the result. S stands for specific purpose. Statistical studies are always done for a specific purpose. So, for the definition of statistics, just combine the above points. Statistics is defined as a field of study relating to collection, organization, presentation, analysis and interpretation of numerical data for a specific purpose. Using the acronym STATS, we can also list down stages of statistical study which are Collection of data, organization of data, presentation of data, analysis of data, and interpretation of data. Next, for the meaning of statistics in plural sense, just remember the acronym NEW SPECS. N in U stands for numerically expressed. Statistics include only numerical or quantitative data. Qualitative factors like honesty, beauty, kindness, etc. are not considered statistics. E in new stands for exactness or accuracy of data. The data collected is through a reasonable standard of accuracy. High degree of accuracy is not insisted in statistical studies. W in new stands for with relation to each other. Statistical data provides information about mutual relationship among elements of the data set. For example, from the data collected on poverty and family size of a group of families, it can be established whether family size has any impact or not on poverty. Now let us see what acronym SPIC stands for. S in SPIC stands for Systematic Collection of Data. P stands for predetermined purpose. The purpose of collecting data is decided in advance as it helps in systematic collection and analysis of data. A stands for aggregate or average. Statistics is the aggregate of facts. Single number does not constitute statistics as it cannot be compared by the user. For example, if I say that height of a particular student is 5 feet 6 inches, this is a numerical data. But if I say that the average height of a particular class is 5 feet 4 inches, then it is considered as statistics. Thus, for figures to be included in statistics, they must be aggregate of facts and not individual figures. Here is an important statement which you must remember. All numerical data cannot be called statistics, but all statistics are called numerical data. C in SPEC stands for comparable to each other. 
In statistics, data is collected for the purpose of comparison. Therefore, it is essential that the collected data is homogeneous. S means several factors affect the study of numerical data. For example, an increase in the price of a good is not the result of a change in one factor, but a result of many factors. So let's combine the above points for the definition of statistics in plural sense. Statistics is defined as an aggregate of facts affected to a large extent by multiplicity of causes, numerically expressed, enumerated or estimated according to reasonable standard of accuracy, collected in a systematic manner for a predetermined purpose and placed in relation to each other. Thus, in plural sense, statistics refers to numerical statement of facts in any department of inquiry placed in relation to each other. What else can we learn from the acronym NEWSPIX? We can list down the characteristics of statistics in plural sense from the acronym NEWSPIX. The characteristics are Statistics are numerically expressed. Statistics must be enumerated or estimated according to reasonable standard of accuracy. Statistics are placed in relation to each other. Statistics are collected in a systematic manner. Statistics are collected for a predetermined purpose. Statistics are aggregate of facts. Statistics are comparable to each other. Statistical data are affected by multiplicity of causes. Now, let us look at some of the limitations of statistics. Statistics are numerical statement of fact. Thus, qualitative characteristics like honesty, efficiency, and intelligence cannot be studied directly. However, it is possible to study such qualitative characteristics statistically by expressing them numerically. For example, if we want to study the intelligence of students in a particular class, we can do so on the basis of marks obtained by them in an examination. Since statistics deals with aggregate of facts, the study of individual measurement lies outside the scope of statistics. For example, the wage earned by an individual worker at any one time cannot be studied statistically, but the wages of worker of a factory can be used statistically. Next, statistical laws are not exact. In fact, results are true only on averages, so they are valid only under certain set of assumptions. Therefore, the science of statistics is less exact than natural sciences like physics, chemistry, etc. Statistics deal with figures, so data can be easily manipulated or distorted by people for their selfish motives. Therefore, it is a dangerous tool in the hands of a non-expert, so data must be used with a caution, otherwise result may prove to be misleading. Two acronyms, STATS and NEWSPICS summarizes all the points that we have studied in today's tutorial. If sometimes you find that you are not able to remember the definition or some of the characteristics, just recall this sentence. I am wearing my new specs to study stats. It is as simple as that. I hope all of you will find today's tutorial useful. But the only way I can get your responses is through the likes and shares. So please don't forget to like the video and also share it with your friends. To stay connected, please subscribe to my channel. I will continue bring weekly updates on various topics related to your syllabus. Until we meet next time, take care and happy learning.